Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. Many taxpayers can file their state and federal tax returns for free. IRS Tax Tip 2021-10 February 1st, 2021. As taxpayers get ready to file their federal tax returns, most will also be thinking about preparing their state taxes. There's some good news for filers wanting to save money. Eligible taxpayers can file their federal and, in many cases, their state taxes at no cost. So there's a free file option. You want to take a look at it on the irs.gov website. When you go to the link, which will be here shortly, then it'll basically give you kind of a questionnaire that you can then use, and it'll direct you to then third-party software, which does typically have a free filing option if you're under certain thresholds, such as adjusted gross income thresholds. As you take a look at that, however, note that uh, the IRS has kind of like an interview process that you can go through to see what your needs are, and then it can kind of help you to pick the free softwares out there and then link you to those third-party softwares. Some of the things that you want to keep in mind is, one, do you need a state, a state tax return? Are you in a state that needs state tax filing requirements as well? If so, then make sure that you're picking up software that can take care of that, too, because uh, it's a lot easier, of course, to do both the federal and the state at the same time. As we look here, we're on the IRS website, so that's the federal website. But when we look at the free filing options from the federal website, it's linking to third-party software that can often handle both the state and the Fed. Some of the other options that you might want to take a look at is if, if you qualify for the earned income tax credit, it looks like some of the options may not have that for free as well. So you want to make sure that you're picking up that too. So if you qualify for the earned income tax credit, make sure you're looking at software that will help you to calculate that. And if you have a state tax return requirement, make sure to pick up the software that will help you to pick that up as well. So taxpayers whose adjusted gross income was 72000 or less in 2019 can file their 2020 federal taxes for free using IRS free file. There's a link to the IRS free file here. Many of them can also do their state taxes at no charge. They do so through the free file offered by the IRS. Let's just take a quick jump over to that link. Here's it. Here it is. We have the file your federal tax online for free. You can find that on the IRS website by just looking up the free file. And then you got your two options. There's income 72,000 and below or income 72,000 and above. We're basically concentrating on income 72,000 or below. And then we can choose an IRS free file offer. So we go into the IRS free file offer. It then gives us basically kind of a question ear where on one side, we can browse all the offers that are available. And on the other side, we can go through kind of IRS tool that will help us to pick the, an offer that might be more appropriate. So this is the tool that you kind of want to look to if you have more uh, qualifications or if you just want IRS's help with choosing the software. If you just go to straight the browsing the software, now it's taking you to third party software here that is basically, and once you go to the third party software, it'll basically take you from the IRS website to the third-party software. So the first one here is we have the TurboTax. That's by Intuit. So that's probably one of the bigger ones. If you qualify for TurboTax, it might be a more reliable one because it's owned by Intuit, which is the owner of QuickBooks. So it's a big company. But there's a lower AGI limitation for that one, which is the 39000 any age, but the EITC is included. One of the more inclusive ones seems to be this one with its great name here, which is Tax Slayer. Tax Slayer. Uh, it has AGI of 72,000 or higher, uh, 51 or younger, and then it does have the EITC. And then it has any, uh, it has states and many of the states will be qualifying as well. The, the uh, TurboTax also has the any state of residence uh, here as well. So back to the text. Here's a few things for taxpayers to know about filing state tax returns through free file. Most people make less than the $72,000 income limit, so most people can use free file. Generally, taxpayers must complete their federal tax return before they can begin their state taxes. So, in other words, if you have a state tax filing requirement, to some degree, the state will kind of mirror what happens on the federal side of things. Therefore, you got to do the federal side of things generally first. But when using interview type of software, such as a TurboTax or something like that, then it'll typically help you to populate both the state and the federal as you do the data input into the TurboTax kind of interview process. So more than 20 states have a state free file program pattern after the federal partnership. 
This means many taxpayers are eligible for, for free federal and free state online tax preparation. The states with a free file program are Arkansas, uh, Arizona, Georgia, uh, Idaho, Indiana, Iowa, Kentucky, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Mississippi, uh, Montana, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Oregon, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Vermont, Virginia, and West Virginia, plus the District of Columbia. IRS Free File Partners feature online products. There's a link to the online products here, some in Spanish. They offer most or some state tax returns for free as well. Some of them may uh, change, so it's important for taxpayers to explore their free options. So you want to make sure you're kind of researching this because obviously the free options can change. And if they're linking to third-party providers who are obviously making their own offers, then they can change their offers as well. So you just want to make sure you're picking up the best offer, offer you know, working with the software that's going to be the best software for you to work with. I would basically look at the requirements first and then possibly look at the software based on you know, the popularity of the software or the quality of the software after that point in time, possibly. But free file partners will charge a fee for state tax return preparation unless their offer says up front the taxpayer can file both federal and state returns for free. So you want to check that out up front. And if you go through the interview kind of process within uh, the IRS website, it can help you to check that out. Taxpayers who want to use one of the state free file program products should go to their state tax agency's free file page. Alaska, Florida, Nevada, South Dakota, Texas, Washington, and Wyoming uh, don't have an income tax. So IRS free file for federal return may be the only tax product people in those states need. So obviously states should have the obligation and typically still do, at least up to this point, the ability to choose what kind of taxation they want to be having. So not all states are going to have an income tax. So if you're in one of these states, you may not have then an income ta tax because the state has chosen to tax possibly in some other way, like a, a sales tax or something like that. So once again, you can get to the free file software with a link here, or you can just go to the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov type in free file options and you should be able to find it there as well.